Okay, I welcome you back with and we'll start with the next module that is project execution approach. So here I want to let you know that how will be our deployment approach. We will be going through all these 12 steps when we think about project execution. The first is to understand the current business environment and the economics. So you have to know what is the current business environment and economics. After that, you have to understand the assets architecture and constraints. Then when you talk about any project that you are going to execute, there are different phases. So these are the first 12 phases that we go through because first of all, we need to know what is the current business environment, what are the economics related to it, how is going to be the architecture and constant about that. So you need to understand like what are the requirements. Then we have to gather the detailed assets usage data. After that, we go for develop a detailed financial model for selection of solution options. So whatever the solution options we are going for, we need to go with that. We need to provide a detailed financial model for that. Then comes to set up the Azure tenants and Azure DevOps project. So number fifth, after getting all the detailed financial model, we come to set up our Azure tenants and Azure DevOps project. After that, we establish naming convention and IP planning is done. So the main uh, thing that is naming convention should be there and a proper IP planning should be there. This is established. After that, we have to configure our Azure app service. So Azure app service configuration should be done. Then we deploy code artifact with Azure DevOps. So the artifact code artifact is deployed with Azure DevOps. We push the code to UAT. We perform user acceptance test. And once the UAT is verified, it fixes the burning issues and stabilization. So after UAT comes the stabilization uh, phase where the bugging, debugging things happen and we stabilize, the, uh, stabilize our application, the whole process, and then push the code towards the production. Before pushing the code towards the production, we need an approval for that. So once the thing stabilized, then we go for approval and then we push the code to the production. So these are the execution, project execution phases that we go along. All these 12 phases. So I need all of you to have a look over this phase so that you can understand that how are we going to plan a project and execute. And the, these are all the deployment approaches. So let me take you to the next, that is project milestone. So every project comes with its milestone. You know, there will be a deadline for each and every milestone because there is a project deadline. We just not, we just can't say our customer that, okay, I need uh, time uh, uh, is going flying away and you are just telling customer, okay, these things are done, that things are done. This is not the way where a professional project uh, deployment is done and how you meet your customer's need. There will be a a deadline set for your project there will be different milestones that your project work down structure will be there so once the structure is break down it will be having different milestones to be achieved there will be a duration set for every milestone there will be a start week uh, start date end date for your project at the phase uh, completion of the project there will be the whole uh, project testing done and everything and then it will be delivered so uh, every project project delivery comes with a deadline. So what I have to tell you here is our project is divided into different milestones that are n number of milestones that is here 10 number of milestones. So M1 is where deployment of plan is approved. The deployment plan, how the deployment plan is there, it will be approved. The next is build plan is approved. In the M2 phase, your Built plan is approved. M3 phase consists of customer provisioning with license, within that license. So this is your milestone that needs to be achieved. Then a customer build plan is done. Your environment test plan is completed. Then you start your deployment of your service. That will require this amount of time. Let's say time one week or four hours. How much uh, testing it requires. So it considers the time that is like uh, for testing you read some time then the end the development like you have to end that deployment phase 
So once you start with the deployment, there should be an end for the deployment of that service. Then after deployment is ended, that means uh, you are ready to go live to customer go live. So uh, whatever his application is ready, he will go live. He will check it. He will be given some time to uh, stabilize over that. And once the things are done, all the things will be handed and there will be a sign off that is a completion of the project. So these are different milestones that needs to be achieved. There are different durations for that. The start date and end date is fixed according to the requirement and according to the team that can provide the solution. So this is about project milestone. And then comes the project risk. So every project comes with risk. It's not that uh, nothing is uh, all well right there are different things that there are different risks that come with in picture but the risks can be stopped now it cannot be totally mitigated but you can provide a background for that or solution for that to mitigate that risk so talking about internet stability and speed the post implementation uat factored this way uh, this is for a mitigation of that risk that is internet stability and speed post implementation of user acceptance test is factored then the probability and impact you can see over here is medium for the next risk that is deployment issue what how are you going to mitigate it right you need to have a proper project management from tech place considering tech place to serve the requirements it should have proper project management so this probability and impact of this risk is medium the next is access and approvals, all the necessary requirements to be fulfilled by customer. So when the risk comes about access and approvals, it's the important part of a customer who has to meet, who has to fulfill all the necessary requirements. Uh, the probability is medium, but the impact may be high because it is regarding to the approval and access. Next is resource availability. Plan the same before the project kickoff. So uh, resource availability. So you have to know the availability of your resources before the uh, project starts, right? If you don't know it, then it will be creating a high impact. It will give you, it will give you to lose your project, to lose your business. So probability may be medium, but the impact will be high. A COVID-19 impact. Since deployment on the cloud, it can re execute remotely. So what is the mitigation for COVID-19 impact? As we know, all the cloud uh, running businesses were not harmed, right? Since the deployment was on cloud, it can be executed remotely. You can carry your business over globally in your pockets. So probability is high. Yes, the probability for COVID-19 impact is high, but the impact uh, for that is medium. So this is about project risk. Next comes... RACI matrix. So, so next here we come to RACI matrix that is a uh, res responsibility, accountability, consult, and informed matrix. So here there are different roles. Uh, a tech page is there as you are serving for your customer. So there are different roles that comes into picture. That is client side stability. So here. The responsibility will be obviously, as it is said, client style, uh, side stability. Uh, the responsibility is of customer that there should be an internet, there should be an OS, there should be antiviruses uh, if anything is happening. But he should be informed. Who should be informed? Tech place should be informed about that. So this is an RACI matrix where roles are there and things are according to that matrix. There should be prerequisites that the customer has the responsibility about it and they should be informed to take place. Implementation, customer supports. So S means a supportive part where customer plays and the responsibility will be of tech place. Access and approvals responsibility, we have seen that it is uh, needed from the customer side and it has to be informed towards tech page. Next comes is resource availability. Here, resource availability, when the project plan kicks off before that, tech place should know whether these resources are available or not. So the responsibility is of tech place and the customer is to be informed about that. Next comes is documentation. So the responsibility of tech place is for documentation. He has to give the documentation through the, uh, like you, when you sign off, when you hand over the things, he has to give that. The responsibility of tech, tech place
English is that. But he has to consult. Like customer needs the consultation about that. So consult is for customer. Then comes the sign of face where tech place is informed. But the responsibility will be of a customer. So this is about RACI matrix that is RACI. S also comes into picture where it says supportiveness. Now, so let's take a break over here. 